What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the LG Ultra Gear OLED 45 inch. This monitor is arguably one of the best monitors for a gaming laptop because it is not too high of a resolution. It's OLED, it's 240 hertz refresh rate, making it excellent for gaming, high contrast, but it also carries a hefty price tag of $1699. Now I gotta give a huge shout out and thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring this episode and sending over the LG Ultra Gear 45 inch OLED. Now I want you to know that I'm able to be honest with you about all the pros and cons of these products. So I wanna be just straight up with you about the negatives about this monitor as well. So the LG Ultra Gear, the main downside is that because the screen is so large and the resolution is only 3440 by 1440, if you're a pixel peeper, you're gonna see the individual pixels on this monitor, especially on fine text uh, and like little things. So you might notice the pixels a bit more than competing products that have higher PPIs. PPI being of course pixels per inch. But this is a two-edged sword and depending on how you look at it, this is actually maybe a better balance of resolution and gameplay performance because uh, a 4K display has 8.3 million pixels to render for each frame. A ultra wide monitor 32 by nine has 7.37 million pixels uh, to render for each frame. And the LG Ultra Gear, because it's a lower resolution, not as wide of an aspect ratio, it is only 4.95 million pixels per frame to render. So you're gonna get dramatically more FPS in the majority of titles. So it's gonna age a little bit better in terms of how well the games perform on this resolution. And if you don't have exceptionally good eyesight or you plan on sitting a little bit further back from the monitor, then you're not gonna see the pixels anyway because it's still a very high resolution. Samsung Odyssey G9 is a 49 inch 32 by nine aspect ratio. I measured it out. The LG Ultra Gear is actually a 12.6% larger screen because it's 17 inches vertically versus 13 inches vertically. And that is a huge difference maker in terms of immersive feel and how large the screen actually is to your eyes. Like I would say a 32 by nine aspect ratio is immersive for your peripheral vision going around sides left and right, but a 21 by nine encompasses more of your top and bottom view. Another advantage of 21 by nine is that more games are compatible with this since it's not as extreme of a wide angle. And so it's supported by more game engines and the UI is presented in a more friendly manner and you don't have to look left and right to see like, for example, how much ammo you have or how many PAL spheres you have. Now some key features for the LG Ultra Gear that makes it really attractive is that it's a 240 Hertz with FreeSync and G-Sync support. And the response rate is extremely fast. So you're gonna be able to play esports games on this monitor very, very well, and you're not gonna have any screen tearing when you're playing the games either. Now I tested the speakers on the LG Ultra Gear. We tested up to 90 decibels. <laughs> I was blown away actually at how loud the speakers were. Now the bass was pretty good. The mids and the highs definitely could have better clarity. And so overall I'd give them like a 8.54, which is pretty good. Now I also tested the color gamut and display brightness and contrast with the Spider 5 Elite. And we got about 295 nits brightness for the display, which honestly was a little surprising. You know, OLED displays look so dang peaky and bright because of how contrasty they are. And this thing has 295,000 to one contrast ratio. Now I'm sure in peaky scenarios with darker environments and other areas of the screen, it will go over 400 nits brightness because this is an HDR 400 certified display. In terms of color gamut, we're looking at 100% sRGB, 96% Adobe RGB, and and 97% P3 color gamut as tested by my Spider 5 Elite. So overall, this display is peaky bright, HDR 400's qualified display. You've got lots of options in the settings if you wanna add a crosshair, if you wanna do OLED, 
picture peeping movements. So that way your display is less prone to OLED burn-in, which is really nice for a desktop type of monitor setup. And in terms of gameplay, I did play Baldur's Gate 3, Pal World, Cyberpunk 2077, and all of those games played really, really well on my RTX 4090 in my Blade 18 while recording the video at the same time in OBS. They also sent the Logitech G305 mouse over for me to test. It's a black mouse that I personally have been using for years. You can see how dirty and used this one is, and it's one that I highly recommend, and you can take the USB dongle with you. Anywhere you go, stores right inside the mouse cover case and throw it in the backpack uh, and the battery lasts for months. So I love this thing. Now this has light speed technology, meaning that there is no latency or very, very minimal latency between the mouse and input. So it feels like it's a wired mouse. It plays really great. I can play esports games with this mouse. Not saying it's the fanciest mouse out there, but it's worked reliably for me. I think the main con here is that the driver can sometimes keep Windows 11 awake. So I have to unplug the mouse sometimes if I wanna make sure my laptop stays asleep. Now there are links in the description if you wanna pick up the LG Ultra Gear OLED display or the Logitech G305 mouse. So that's my review of the Ultra Gear OLED 45 inch from LG. A very impressive monitor, uh, clearly one of the very best monitors that money can buy. It's definitely not the highest resolution, but it's also a nice blend of performance, color quality, response rate, and just really peaky, awesome gaming experiences that doesn't require as powerful of a GPU to actually game at decent frame rates. So that's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon out. Thank you.